Hello there, it's Destin over at Camping World in Conway. We're going to do a walk around of the 2023 Mallard M32. Separate bunk room design on the floor plan and uh, provides a lot of extra sleeping space for the kiddos and good family trailer. So we'll start off at the front here. You're going to have a power tongue jack. There is a manual override if needed. Two 20 pound LP tanks right behind there. And of course your battery box with a disconnect right up at the front here. Rock guard on the coach and a fully molded fiberglass front cap. It does have some LED marker lights right there too so you can see what you're doing when you set up. I'm going to move over to the door side here where they have a huge pass through storage. Uh, 67 and a half cubic feet so says the sticker uh, you do have a solar charge controller right on the side so you're ready to hook up whenever you want to go off grid moving on down the line large awning on the coach about the full length it covers the bathroom door and then the outdoor kitchen has its uh, door for coverage there uh, flip up step above steps in the front here outdoor speakers and your water heater access and your fridge access are on this side too. Wide track suspension system. So the big goal on this is it widens out your axles so you get a little bit more play in between. Um, makes your ride a little bit smoother going down the road. Aluminum rims on there too, so they're nice and shiny. Black tank flush equipped on the coach so you can keep your black tank clean. And then a big outdoor kitchen. So you got the beer fridge. Can't forget that. Uh, pull out griddle, which is really nice and opposed to the burners. And then the uh, countertop that they used is like a, a metal, super easy to clean. A little bit of storage out here. And then of course, an outdoor TV hookup. Can't be complete camping without one of those. On the back end, you're gonna have a grill mount. Uh, the grill is gonna be up front there, but that would hook up for your uh, extra cooking sur uh, surface. Outdoor water is gonna be right next to that along with your backup camera prep and ladder prep. Moving on to the other side, uh, cable-driven slides equipped on the coach. They do have the um, uh, seal catch, so it'll actually engage your seals when you pull your slide out. out. It's a little thing, but it is nice. 50-amp uh, connection on the camper here, and then your drains for your sewer are actually conveniently located in between the two slide outs, so you're not having to crawl under the slide to get to it head on down the line here so on the front half there ain't nothing too special you're gonna have your access from the other side of the pass-through a little bit smaller on this side and then you're gonna have your controls for your jacks the front stabilizers are there back jacks are gonna be uh, in the back of the coach of course and let's head on in So as we walk into the coach here, I'm going to walk into the living area. Quite a bit of space when you first walk into your kitchen living combo. Nice little fireplace in the front, big TV area. So let's start off in the master, actually. All mallards are going to come equipped with a king-size bed. Uh, usually not seen in this uh, subsection of trailer here. You have opposing windows on both sides that'll actually open up. And a little wardrobe in the side here. Same on the other side with some overhead storage as well. Nice little spot for knickknacks there. Into the living room, you're gonna have a spot for a 50 inch TV right on the wall here. Underneath that, you're gonna have a electric fireplace, your stereo controls right here, and that uh, Bluetooth pairs to your phone, indoor and outdoor speakers, uh, different zones to do that. Uh, TV hookup has the HDMI port right there. The fireplace, uh, 5,000 BTU electric heater, so enough to take the edge off. And into the kitchen, and that solid surface countertops, uh, your controls for your awning are going to be right next to the door there, as well as the main slide. Uh, recessed single bay sink, a uh, big metal sink actually, which is kind of nice. Underneath that, you got a nice little spot for a trash can and a couple full extension drawers here too. 
actually finish all the wood in their drawers as well. A lot of times you'll see just plywood. So it's nice that they finished it up. There's another one right under there too. Up above, you're gonna have a decent amount of storage up top here. And then the Greystone appliance package. So your microwave, range hood, three burner cooktop, and your little oven underneath here. So on the fridge, they haven't switched to 12 volt yet, which I think is a good thing. So you still have a gas option on this. Large fridge, freezer up above. And the kids will love it because it's actually a chalkboard here and you can draw on it. So that's the that's the deal maker for these things. Nice large U-shaped dinette. There is storage underneath on both sides and a lack there of carpet in the coach too. It's more of a, a boat surface. This is a convertible couch to a full-size bed as well. And then all the windows in the coach. Any nice big windows will open up and you got some panoramics on the side. So lots of light coming in here. Thermostat for the camper right past the kitchen here. And into the restroom. You have access from the outside. Little sink area. Nice medicine cabinet for storage. And you get the tub here with the headlight, or the head bubble I should say. And of course the commode. In here is going to be your monitoring panel as well, as well as your water heater controls and water pump. Moving on down the line. Get a nice little extra pantry or closed storage or whatever you will near the back end here. As well as your fuse box is going to be located right there. Now into the bunk room. We're going to have a double size bunk over the top of the outdoor kitchen. TV hookup. Some nice storage on the inside here. Sometimes I'm, I'm starting to see a lack there of storage in the back bunk rooms, which doesn't make sense to me. Flip up bunk on the other side, as well as a couch, a convertible couch, I should say. That'll turn into a queen size bed. So nice little area back here, a little privacy curtain for the kiddos. And that's about the tour of the M32. Uh, if I missed anything that was uh, important to you, don't hesitate to reach out and let me know and I'll dive back into it. But Destin at Camping World here and give us a call to uh, answer any more questions for you. 603-333-1520. Thank you.